Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing another episode of Cooking with Schmiederman, and today, pastrami. So, we start with the basis is corned beef. We actually had a sale on it in my uh, local area, so why not? Good time to do it. I jumped ahead and did a, um, I trimmed a lot of the hard fat off, as you can see. Try to get a lot of it out. I mean, I still left some. It will render, but you don't want to leave a ton of it on. <clears throat> the other thing I do to prepare this is because corned beef is brine and can be pretty strong, I'll put it in a pot of cold water, completely submerge it, and throw it in the fridge two days, dump all the water out, rinse it, fill it back up, let it go another two days. So this has already gone through a cold water soak for four days. And as you can see, it kind of made it pale here and there where it actually pulled some of the brine out. This darker spot is where it was sitting on the bottom of the pot. So it won't be overly salty, overly briny. Since I am doing a one man camera crew, I got to one hand this thing. So I'm going to pause it when I treat it and then show you what it looks like all uh, dressed up. And really all we're going to do is coat this thing with yellow mustard, some black pepper, smoked black pepper in this case, and garlic powder. Hang tight, show you what it looks like. And here it is, all rubbed down. Pretty good coat of mustard, went really liberal with the uh, pepper and garlic. All corners, all angles, get it covered. Now it's gonna sit out here, warm back up, wanna get to room temp. I do like to use the flats for this, flat brisket. Uh, you can use points, anything else you want. I think that the brisket, because it's more even as far as shape and thickness, it cooks much evenly and Away you go, but you know, again, you can use whatever you want, and that's pretty much it. Once we get ready, probably gonna go in and I'm gonna treat it like a regular brisket. Hang tight. All right, on the smoker, get ready to go. Tubes are heating up. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit more just so that I know they're burning for sure and they're gonna smolder. Setting this to uh, 230 degrees and just typical brisket fashion, we're gonna let this go to about an internal temp of. 165 and when it does then we're actually gonna use some peach butcher paper wrap this up I'm gonna double wrap it and then let it go to like a 203 if the probe feels nice and tender I'll pull it if not maybe bump it up to 205 or so and unfortunately we had a sad day today I lost some pellets dang it that smoke that could have been but hey since it's on the smoke the heat shield maybe it's just extra added smoke flavor to the bottom side all right we're gonna close the lid, let this thing get all nice and happy, and check it back. Smoke on! Every once in a while I get some complaints from the neighbors. But usually they come running over with a plate and fork, and that's the complaint, because I didn't invite them to dinner. God, that must suck. Yeah, hit our 165 alarm. Yeah, looks good. So we're gonna put this on the peach paper, double wrap it. Throw back in until 205, and then we're gonna let it sit for probably about an hour. And here's the end product. So it actually shrunk quite a bit. But it's done. It's scrump. Make some sandwiches with that. Eat this is. Make some hash. Have it on eggs. Mmm. -hmm. Yummy. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas of something else you'd like to see prepared, leave a comment down below. We'll see if we can work on that. Thank you.